Hey, Joe, good morning. Yeah, these hundreds of pages show some of the internal messages between Robinhood executives back in January. There's, for one, some panic over capital requirements during that GameStop short squeeze. There's debates over how bad it could get and at least one direct contradiction of what CEO Vlad Tenev told Andrew back at the time. On January 28th, the company's COO, Gretchen Howard, messaged internally that Robinhood had a, quote, major liquidity issue. Tenev, of course, denying that in an interview with Andrew on CNBC. And that same day, Robinhood did move to uh, close down some of the heavily shorted stocks like GameStop and AMC to position close only, meaning people could sell, but they couldn't buy. And in response to that move, another executive whose name was redacted says, quote, we are going to get crucified for those restrictions and that it was a, quote, horrible look for the wider brokerage industry. The COO of Robinhood Financial, that's a subsidiary of Robinhood, meanwhile, saying that the company was too big for them to actually shut us down, referring there to its clearinghouse. And the plaintiffs, guys, uh, the lawyer for the plaintiffs in this case in the class action suit argue that Robinhood, quote, kept its doors open unbeknownst to the general public. The platform was teetering on the verge of collapse. And in response, Robinhood telling us, we dispute the plaintiffs' allegations. The communications are consistent, they say, with Robinhood's focus to take appropriate incremental measures to mitigate risk. Joe, back to you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.